praise the Lord. I thank God because I'm here at a place where Jesus is walking up yes. and down. Yes. And you think you can't see him, huh? <laughs> but we can certainly feel for him. The Lord said if we would happily feel after him and find him, though he be not far away from every one of us. Isn't that amazing? That's the great God that we serve. Amen. He can be right next to you and next to you and, and right next to each yes. of us. Amen. And we can obtain whatever we want from him on this night. Yes. We don't have to wait. That's the blessedness of salvation. We don't have to wait. He's here right now for us. So I thank God for being here in this place. Lord, I'm so grateful to you, Lord. For after you shed your blood, God, oh, Jesus, after the Son shed his blood, he gave us life and then he rose again for our justification. And that's what creates the changes in our life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that I received him one day. Hallelujah. I received him into my heart and he made such a great change. I struggled all before I knew him. But then when I called upon the name of the Lord, he yes. made such a fantastic change in my life. The struggle was over. Yes, it was. I didn't need the alcohol in them anymore for the pleasure that I was trying to find in my heart. You know, that joy that you want. Everybody wants to feel good. But then... We're all, we don't start off doing what we need to do to get that joy. You know, we start off in the wrong ways. Like the woman with the issue of blood, she tried everything. She tried everything until she tried the right thing. Well, I tried everything until I tried the right thing, and it was Jesus. And I'll never go another direction now because he is the one who died for us to get this joy. And so I'm, I'm so pleased with the Lord for allowing me an opportunity I tell you, he let me live in my sin for a little moment mm -hmm. until I called on him and came to him, and then he made such a great change in my life. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sad about that change. I'm oh, excited yeah. about the change thank that Jesus Lord. made in oh, my yeah. heart. Yeah. You know, when he came in, he cleared up all the questions that I had about why I was born, why I was here. I used yeah. to have those questions when I was very young. Well, why, God, did you make us? Did you make us just to live here and die? You know, and I used to uh, hear the fire engines go by and my heart would get sad. I was very little. And my heart would get sad because I just thought that it was, I always thought that it was someone burning in the fires because I had heard a news report when I was very young. Um, my mother didn't normally turn on um, the radio for the children. You know, we just mostly prayed. Uh, excuse me, played. We didn't pray yet. <laughs> Not yet. But most of the time, all we did was play. And um, one day, I happened to hear a news report, and it was about a fire and about some children and um, families had burned up. They were killed in this, in this fire. So then after that, about six years old, I, every time I would hear a fire engine, I would cry. And I would think that someone must have gotten burned up. And I just would wonder and ask, why did God make us just to live here and die? Huh? Oh, Jesus. But you know, he answered me. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. He allowed me to find out why he made us. As I got older, I, I still had those questions. So I lived any kind of way I wanted to live. I thought I was living to myself, but then the Lord showed me that he made us for him. He made us for his glory. He made us to serve him. He made us for his purpose. And when we receive him, we start walking in that destiny that he, that he planned for us. And that's been a wonderful thing in my life. I tell you, he's the joy of my salvation. I can say like the song say, yes, he is. And I don't want to talk too much because... I'm not the only one excited. I know you are too. But I'm just thankful to the Lord that he had me come in a place where I can meet all of y'all. And like the pastor said, we, we say greetings from the praise center. We're so grateful to be here among you. I, I'm so glad for, I, I can't say new faces because I've seen, I've seen most of you before, but I'm glad for that spirit that yeah. spirit of togetherness yeah. that we hear, yeah. that spirit of unity. Yes. You know, like Aaron said, it's like the oil that run down yes. from Aaron. Was it Aaron's beard? Yes. From yes. Aaron's beard, that oil that run down, you know, that joy that yes. you don't find out in the world. Yes. You find a great joy in coming together yes. to be among the people of God. So I'm grateful and I'm yes. honored to be here yes. in your presence. 
And again, Jesus is here. He's here in our presence. Hallelujah. What a wonderful guest. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.
Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. See, that's why it's important to have the Holy Ghost. That's right. Amen. To be ye filled with the Spirit. Elijah. Elijah was a man subject to like passion as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth. That's part of the supernatural. See, unbeliever can't believe that and you can pray for something like that and it happens. Oh, that happens in the Old Testament. They don't do that no more. They don't do that no more. But when you come to Christ, when you come to Jesus, you become a new creature. Amen. The Bible says, old things have passed away. Yeah. Behold, all things become new. Yeah. What's the newness? Jesus Christ. Amen. Greater works you shall do. Amen. Greater works you shall do. Hallelujah. That's what Jesus says. Yes, he did. Greater works. Mm -hmm. So if I can believe God for something, mm -hmm. in his will, He'll do it. Amen. He'll do it. That's right. Well, brother, you don't know what I've been going through. I've been struggling with this thing for years and months. I think God's mad with me. I must have did something. That's why I say, come to me. Reason with me. Cast your cares upon me. Well, brother, you know, I think death is waiting on me. I'm on my way to hell. <laughs> that's how people think. Yeah. That's how they talk. Come on. But the Bible say, even though you made a covenant or agreement with death and a covenant with hell, the Bible says it won't stand. That's, right. that's why prayer is powerful. Amen. It breaks the yoke. Right. It breaks the bondage. Yeah. Of people's life. Yes. He prayed that it would not rain. Amen? Amen. Book of Daniel speaks about the prophets of Baal. They go around prophesying to people. Nothing ever happened. Daniel said, Look, this is what we're going to do. Build the altar. Elijah, Elijah. Build the altar. I want you to call upon your God. And I'm going to call upon my God. Take your time. Do what you got to do. Amen. See, when you fast and pray, you can believe God. I don't believe you don't understand That's that. Right. Amen. They don't believe how you maintain what you have. I make more money than you. I got a better job than you. But look at him. Look at her. They're making it. Bible mm -hmm. says a little bit that you have is more than the week. Come on. Much more. Amen. So we need a little bit. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Yes. The altar. Oh, yes. They built, the Bible says. He said, okay, call upon your God. See if he answers you. See, they God, they have many gods. Uh -huh. But they can't see. That's right. They can't hear. Amen. They can't speak. No. Amen. 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 Our God we serve mm -hmm. is a living, Amen. a true God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. True and living God yeah. that fights for you. He fights for you. Yes, yes, amen. And then he teach you how to walk. He makes you so strong mm -hmm. that you can break a bolt of steel with your arm. Mm -hmm. Imagine that. Well, you can't break no steel. You're a human. You're human. But it's in the supernatural. Mm -hmm. If he can make an axe head flow from the bottom of the river to the Woo! Amen. That's God. That's God. Amen. 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 Now, he told these, these, these prophets, okay, call upon your God. They did it. Nothing happened. 
They cut themselves. They scream all day. Nothing happened. Mm -hmm. And Elijah, he said, look, this is what I want you to do. Get some water. Pull it on your heart. Get it down real good. Uh -huh. I'm going to call up on my God. God of Abraham. Yeah. The God of Isaac. Yeah. I'm going to call up on my God. I'm going to show you what my God can do. Because he's alive. Right. He's living. Yes. And he hears our cry. Mm -hmm. That's what our God can do. Yeah. Well, brothers, no, there's no help for me, no hope for me. The doctors say I'm too far gone. Too far gone. It's the anointing. Breaks the yoke. Yes, that's right. The anointing that breaks the yoke. One spoken word from a saint's mouth, a believer's mouth, will change that situation around. Yes, yes, yes. Will bind the hand of the devil. Uh -huh. Amen? Yes, amen. Sickness and disease have no place when Jesus steps on the scene because uh -huh. of that shed blood, yes. the blood of the cross. Glory be to God. Amen. That's why the Bible speaks about fire all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fire burns. Fire purge. They say when you get in the fast, you ain't got to go on a 21 day fast right away. You can do one day a week. Come on, brother. Do a you know, bread and juice fast. If you, you know how to eat something, do a fruit fast. Start. Cleansing your system up. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? And we used to do a half a day fast at 5.30, then we can eat. But then you pig out. <laughs> you eat like it's no tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm going to fill up because I know tomorrow I'm going to go fast. I ain't going to get down in. Oh. You see, you have, to, you have to learn how to fast. Train your body to fast. And then you pray. Okay, brother, what did I pray for? Million bucks, brand new Cadillac, maybe a jet. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Isaiah speaks about the facts that God has chosen for us. Yeah. Isaiah 58. Yeah. Glory be to God. See, God, he, he likes to show up with fire. He likes to let you know I'm God. Amen. Call upon me and I will show you great and mighty things. Mm. Where's you? No, it's not. See, the supernatural is, is like when I first heard the word supernatural, I'm thinking of a magic trick, something I've never seen before. And then when you, you realize, you say, well, holy rollers. The Holy Ghost. You see people fall out slain in the spirit and they can get the roll. The Lord been encouraging them. They get the roll, 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 roll. That's where they get the Holy Ghost from. The Holy Roll is from. And they always like to roll and dance and you know what I mean? Yeah. But Isaiah speaks about his fast. What God chose him to fast for. Yeah. Glory be to God. It's not the fast that I have chosen. Isaiah 58 6. Is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness? See, so you can get in the fast and pray. You don't do it for yourself. You do it for someone else. Someone else can make it into the kingdom. Someone else can be saved. Someone else can be raised up off that bit of affliction. Amen? Amen. Amen. Is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free? Oh, brother, I'm so depressed. I gotta take. I miss taking my medication. I'm just all. Oh, I just all oh, discombobulated. I can't think. Can't concentrate. But brother, so you mind if I pray for you? Come on. You mind if I have a word of encouragement with you? Yeah. What are they going to say? No, I'm too depressed. <laughs> they won't say anything, but yeah, I'm not sure. And that Lord, Lord opened the door for you right there. He opened the door for you. So when you get to bind that enemy, amen, that's it. You bind it. To 
You want to do heavy burdens. See, a lot of people get burdened down with a lot of stuff. Yeah. A lot of stuff was going on. Oh, yeah. You can't concentrate. You go to work, they go to the big club. You go to work, they go to the gym. But I remember a time when you used to get off of work, you used to come home, first thing you do, you get on your knees. Oh, Lord, I thank you for letting me come home safe. Yeah. Thank you for your mercy, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you for your hand of mercy. And you pray, I pray for so-and-so, I pray for this person, oh God, save them, oh God, bring them in, oh God, forgive them for treat me that way, oh God. Have mercy on the Lord. Yeah. Then you get up, you prepare dinner. You eat. Amen? Amen. Amen? We got away from that. We need to go back to that. That's part of fasting and praying. When you wake up in the morning, you get down, you say your prayers. See, when I was coming up, we was taught to say your prayers before you go to bed. That's it. God wants you to think of it when you're lying down, when you're walking by the way. All day long, that's it. That's how you think of God. Hallelujah. That's how you begin to walk in the supernatural. Yes. Because when you walk in the supernatural, he opened that spiritual eye. Come on. Right. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. He opened that spiritual eye. And then you begin to see people as they are. Mm -hmm. Well, good. Well, we, some things you see, you're going to see the Lord wants to lie. You see, you ain't going to lie. Some things the Lord going to lie you to smell, you ain't going to lie. But you still got to be there. To show forth God's love. Yes. Imagine that. Wow. Imagine that. Yeah. And when that son came out of the, the pig pen, went home to his dad, his dad didn't say the first thing. He said, Woo, son, take a bath. Woo, <laughs> clean him up, y'all. No, <laughs> no, come on, son. Yeah. I'm glad yeah. you're back. Come I'm on. glad come you're on. safe. Yeah. I'm glad you're alive. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Praise God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. 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 <laughs> Be kind. Get him in. Then give him the word. Then feed him. So we was always taught you feed a person first, then you preach to him. Then you give him the word. Glory be to God. Thank you. Thank you. It's, not the, it's not this the fast that I have chosen. To loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free. And that you break every yoke. It's the anointing that breaks the yoke. Yeah. I'm here speaking for God. Mm -hmm. I'm here because of God. Oh How do I know that? If it had not been for the Lord Bravo. on my yeah. side, yeah. tell me where, come on, sing with me, where would I be, where would I be, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, tell me where would I be, amen, 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 see now, I know what I would have been at, a drug addict, in the prison, or maybe dead. But Lord saw fit to reach down and pump me out of the fire, out of the devil's hand. Thank you, Lord. He saw fit. You know, I thank God because without Jesus, none of us could make it. We couldn't deal with the presence of life. Glory be to God. You know, the Bible says, who is on the Lord's side? Yeah. Who is on the Lord's side? Amen? Amen. I'm on the Lord's side. Amen. I want to stay on His good side. Yeah. Amen. I want to walk in His ways. I want to speak his word. But, but, brother, I don't know the Bible like you. I, I mean, it's hard to understand the word of God. Keep reading. Keep reading. Hallelujah. Let the word take hold of you. 
Yeah. That'll become part of you. That's why sometimes when you read, you gotta just speak it out. Yeah. You gotta read God's word out. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. You know, the Bible says Jesus in uh, Luke 4. It says, Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Full yes. of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Full yes. of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. If he was full of the Holy Ghost, we need to be full. Yeah, that's right. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen. Amen. And he went about doing Good. Good. Healing all manner of sickness and disease. See, ain't nothing Jesus can't take care of. Ain't nothing God can't heal. Amen. 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 We serve an all risen Savior. Don't think He don't know what's going on inside your body. Don't think He don't know the enemy got a foothold right in there. And then again, you begin to. Doubt God's word. You begin to say, well, maybe. Mm. No, God don't want you to do that. He wants you to stand firm on his word. He wants you to believe what he says. Yeah. Well, that pain is still there. Well, the doctor said that's still there. When we serve a creator. Come on. Create us from the dust of the ground. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Now Jesus, he opened a man's eyes. The death spoke. Amen. The lame walked. Yes. Even undecurable disease was the left. Yeah. Amen. They was always put out. They had their own colony to be in. They couldn't come into town. They couldn't come near a person, not unless they say, unclean, unclean. That's right. Jesus, he healed. Yes, he did. So he heals all manner of sickness mm -hmm. and all manner of disease. Yes. And then he said, greater works you should do? Yeah. Now how much greater can you get? Yeah. How much greater works do you want to do? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Amen? Amen? That's when supernatural come into play. Lord, I can't pay my mortgage this month. See, that's what you see yeah. in the natural. But in the supernatural, God says, when you pray, believe yes. that you receive and you shall have it. That's right. Yes, Lord. Now, I've been praying all my life, brother. And I pray with this and those, and I ain't received nothing. Was it in the will of God? Or was it in the natural? Uh oh. Uh -oh. See? See, the flesh always war against the spirit. The flesh always wants something of his own self. That's right. Amen? Amen. How do you know, Brother Stan? Because before I even got saved, I was like, oh man, she sure looks good. Woo! That's the flesh. Yeah. And then you, you read the word that says, don't look upon the maid to lust in your heart. Come on. Mm -hmm. so, oh, that, oh, okay. Yeah. That flesh. So when you begin to pray, then you push that flesh down. Mm -hmm. That's right. You're in control. Yeah. Yeah. You can walk in God's word. You can speak God's word. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be. Well, brother, supernatural, what supernatural thing you talking about? The anointing of God. The power of the Holy Ghost. It breaks the yoke. But when the enemy gets that foothold in, you begin to doubt God's word. You begin to doubt God's word. Now, when I was young, I thought I could fight. Come on, come on. Then all of a sudden, I started running. What? <laughs> See, that's how the enemy wants you. Come on. He didn't want you to turn back in the day of battle. Being armed with the word, running towards the battle. That's right. 
He don't want you to turn. Trust God. Trust God. Trust God. He'll do it for you. When you praise the Lord, no matter what it, what I see, what I hear, I'm going to trust you, Lord. I'm going to trust you, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The devil is a liar. Come on. Amen. Shut up, devil. Right. You have no place here. Right. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Take that soul back right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Take that soul that's near to hell, oh God. Bring them back, oh Lord, to your fold. Yes, I got on for the blood of Jesus will be Yes, I got on for Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Overflow in this place, oh God. Overflow in Pastor Humphrey finances, oh God. Let it overflow to his members, oh God. The one that stayed true to him, oh God. Yes, I got on for Jesus. Let them be a strong force for you, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God. You bind the hand of the enemy. Every affliction of this people's, O oh God. Break every yoke, O oh God. Let it be known this day that you are true, that you are living. Oh God, that you still work miracles, oh God. Signs and wonders, your father for me was, oh God. Hallelujah, we believe. Oh Lord God. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Have it follow, God. Even the ones that have skepticals about you, oh God, about your word and about your power, oh God. I pray that you will manifest it, oh God. Not only in their minds, in their sight, but in their heart, oh God. Make it internal, oh Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord God, Jesus. Speak to them, oh God. Let it burn within fire, oh God, within their hearts. Oh Let it burn them, oh God, what they should do, oh God, and how they should do it. Yes, you're saying, I don't understand, brother. I can't see my way. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 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 Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Call upon me. Romans 10 and 9. If a man should confess, Oh, she got up. Hallelujah, Lord. All you have to do is call upon Jesus. Yes. Call upon his holy name. Hallelujah. And he will show you great and mighty things. Yes, he will. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes, Thank you, Lord. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 Hey God, now boy, boy, shit. Come on, pray with me. Yeah, shut God, now you shoot boy. Hey God, now now boy, boy, yeah, that shoot shoot up. Hey God, now now shoot boy, boy, yeah, now yeah. Hey God, now now boy, boy, yeah, that shoot shoot up. Hey God, now now boy, boy, yeah, that shoot shoot up. Hey God, now now boy, boy, yeah, that shoot shoot up. Hey God, now now boy, boy, yeah, that shoot shoot up. Hey God, now now boy, boy, yeah, that shoot shoot up. Hey God, now now boy, boy, yeah, that shoot shoot up. Hey God, now now boy, boy, yeah, that shoot shoot up. Hey God, now now boy, boy, yeah, that shoot shoot up. Hey God, now now boy, boy, yeah, that shoot shoot up. Hey God, now now boy, boy, yeah, that shoot shoot up. Hey God, now now boy, boy, yeah, that shoot shoot up. Hey God, now now boy, boy, yeah, that shoot shoot up. Hey God, now now boy, boy, Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus. Oh Jesus. Lord Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. 